Today I have with me one of the last dinosaur from Volkswagen because it's a diesel version. It's about the new Volkswagen Passat variant estate 2024. We will do a full review, interior, exterior, technical data, material quality, multimedia system, everything about this new Passat you will find out in this video. And I couldn't find a better place to review a dinosaur than in Switzerland in a perfect location where there are not so many cars and everything is green and natural. It's like this diesel car will be eaten up by the nature. Anyway, just my imagination. Yeah, you can get this car also, of course, in a full hybrid version where you have much better efficiency and much better emissions and stuff like that but to be honest i drive the car before i come here i already did the test drives and i was crazy impressed plus i own for a few years a volkswagen diesel and i kind of missing that driving feeling of a diesel it's an incredible cruiser and you will see in the test drive video because i have separate videos if you want to see those test drive check them out i was crazy impressed i love to drive the car i have to tell you from the beginning volkswagen know how to make those ic car internal combustion engine cars the diesel cars from volkswagen group you probably know they are really reliable i had a few cars and they are really really good anyway enough with that i don't want to praise the diesel because i'm a fan of electricity hybrids and stuff like that but still missing driving a diesel and probably we will miss that in the future if you want to see this car guys if you want to test drive it if you want to buy it check out garage gauchi if you are in switzerland around switzerland in langenthal i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice they will help you with every single thing that you have and also you can see the cars there they have all the new volkswagen cars and also skoda skoda cars so definitely check them out so the version that i have with me it's the business version it comes in four versions first of all is the basis entry-level version the second one it's the business version and the third one is the elegance version and the last the top of the range version is the airline version i will definitely film all of them in the future so stay close if you want to see those videos because we'll come soon on the channel when it comes to price here at gauchi garage in switzerland the starting price of this business version it's 50 5,900 francs and if you add the options for example like the color metallic color if you add for example the panoramic glass roof that it's around here 1280 francs if you add extra warranty free plus four years if you add iq drive 660 francs this is something that you definitely have to have in your car and you will see why if you look at the test drive uh, because there i test the autopilot and lane assist and all that safety features uh, plus it comes with the hook uh, for the trailer it comes with those leather varena they call it 1130 francs more about that i will show you as we go in the video infotainment package plus by the way the infotainment screen the 15 inch screen that the car it has right here it's an optional so for it you have to pay 900 francs in order to have that uh, and also it comes with a head-up display that's super nice the head-up display is incredible and i will show you also as we go in the video when it comes to price the final price with all these options should go around 65,050 francs this is the final price but basically this is the brutal price but the netto price it's 52,490 francs so not that bad to be honest for what this car offer and how this car is when you drive it technical data 1780 kilograms 5.2 liter estimated consumption 137 grams co2 emission it's in c class efficient class as i said before it's a diesel version that means it comes with a two liter four cylinders in line combined with a seven speed automatic transmission dsg i told you i drive it before they work together just perfect so volkswagen work for years or on those engines so yeah definitely a reliable one it's a front wheel drive system that means the diesel engine it's installed on the front power of the car 150 horsepower 360 newton meters the top speed of the car 220 120 free kilometer per hour 0 to 100 
109.3 seconds the consumption around 4.9 liters if you want to see the consumption i will have a separate video consumption test so stay close when it comes to trunk space this time it's much more spacious than the previous version 690 liter and if you fold down the seats completely you will get up to 1920 liters so it's super super spacious it's kind of the same space as on the new skoda superb that kind of share the same platform and they are built on the same factory so that's a good thing so the experience that they share together the guys from Skoda and the guys from Volkswagen it's all the Volkswagen group share together the technology and that's that's a good positive thing the fuel tank capacity 66 liters drag coefficient here we can talk a little bit because Volkswagen improved the drag coefficient and we will talk when we go outside now it's 0.25 and on the previous version was 0.31 so huge step forward when it comes to uh, efficiency and aerodynamic 12 meter turning circle the car come with independent type mcpherson suspension with coil spring and anti-roll bar on the front and on the rear we have also a semi-independent suspension ventilated brake disc on the front normal brake disc on the rear and 18 inch wheels very important guys this version that i have with me didn't come with dcc dynamic chassis control something that i totally recommend you to get it if you can as an option in other version hybrid version of course it is incredible i mean i test it on id7 and dcc from volkswagen no matter which model you're driving it's crazy good but even though i was impressed on how good was this car even without the dcc when it comes to suspension driving feeling cruising it's an incredible comfortable cruiser so really nice car anyway i hope i cover every single thing with the technical data now we will go outside we will talk a little bit about exterior design then we will go inside and we will talk about the multimedia and every single other thing so yeah let's do it guys this is the key the same glossy nice key as volkswagen used it also in the last years i should say quite nice what you can do with the key of course you can lock the car you can unlock the car you can see right here it comes with electric folding mirrors that's also super useful at least when you park in tight spaces but you can use it also from here from the handle so you can put your finger here to lock the car and you can have your hands right here to unlock the car and what i notice is that it works really really smooth and nice this thing you can do it also from all handles of the door also from the handles from the back so you can lock the car from here something that is not happening on other uh, models and also you can unlock it the same story so this is really really nice another thing that you you can do with the key it's open the trunk because it comes with an automatic lift gate in the trunk so that's cool you just press it for two seconds and then it will uh, open and also for close open two seconds and it will close automatically this is super super useful and then if you want to fold down the windows you just press the button unlock for a few seconds and uh, let me show you one more time usually it should fold down the windows but i guess on this version i didn't have that option so yeah this is also very important to keep in mind so yeah basically this is what you can do with the key first of all as i said in the beginning they definitely improved the aerodynamic of the car and you can definitely see that the car look much more round it's also much more lower on the front end of the car and also it stays a little bit lower on the ground when it comes to uh, ground clearance so that improved the aerodynamic also there are a lot of elements that they improve like the mirrors to make this aerodynamic of coefficient a little bit better so now like i said 0.25 where before on the previous version was 0.31 otherwise the design it looks quite nice i really like the lines and the new shape and size of the car because it's also much brighter and much longer than before and you can definitely see that from the side and you can definitely see it from every single angle so you can see the front end it's quite small and the rear end it's quite big that for a better space inside they definitely design it like that 
uh, on purpose in order to give it much more space inside the car but in the same time better aerodynamic because the front end it's much more lower and much more uh, small if I can say like that overall it's a nice design it's a pleasant design to to look at and it's a practical car and it comes also with a lot of technologies like the uh, IQ light this is Matrix headlamps and also on the rear everywhere where you look at lightning it's LED so it doesn't use any halogen or yeah any incandescent light so everything it's LED even the fog lamps and we will look in details at them in a second so yeah definitely a nice attractive car and on this version business version that I have with me they use a lot of chrome and it's normal because chrome look business black with chrome it's crazy business. This is the perfect combination of colors to signify a little bit of business, a little bit of serious person. So this car is definitely for a, a person that have a big family or carry a lot of stuff, but in the same time want to look business, want to look nice. And this black color with a chrome look phenomenal. And they put chrome a lot. Uh, on the roof rails, around the windows, they put chrome even here, they look super nice like Audi, some Audi cars have the same chrome inserted in the tail lights, it looks really cool, a little bit of chrome down here and even in the front if you saw the chrome on the grill down there look really really nice, definitely they choose quite well the different trim levels and yeah this one look quite nice, you can definitely in this super crazy silent look at where we are in the mountain so you barely don't hear anything here just the river a little bit but other than that it's crazy silent you definitely hear this diesel engine so I don't know even though it's a great fantastic cruiser for long distances probably I will go for the hybrid version if I have to choose by the Passat up on the roof here you can definitely see these roof rails in chrome they look so so nice then you you see here the panoramic glass roof that is optional and you can also open it up and I will show you when we go inside but otherwise from outside you barely see inside because it's tinted and also here it's tinted windows on the side tinted windows on the rear look incredible nice with the black color of the car also radio antenna in black glossy you have also roof spoiler extended in the back simple and round and then you have also on the side here those piano black that looks really really cool really blending nice the black of the color then the brake light LED light wipers on the rear on the side around the windows you have this chrome everywhere and then tinted windows look at the transition between the windows how nice they, they did it in a super super high quality I really like it then you have also here you have piano black glossy black between the windows Volkswagen writing here on this area and then again chrome on the down part chrome around upper side mirrors pretty nice black nice design nice aerodynamics quite small LED light turning signals this is the camera for 360 degrees camera mirrors and then you have the blind spot technology around here inside while you're driving you can see it and then the handles pretty simple here I was expect somehow to include the handles inside the doors but yeah I guess they are normal and when it comes to doors and sound I have to tell you it's really good quality they put really good quality in the doors and the doors feel heavy so it feels good good quality and the sound is great even on the rear yeah yeah hear this out nice sound really good quality I was expecting at this from Volkswagen now up here you have the camera for reading the traffic speed limit lane assist sign reading the traffic signs and it works together for autopilot and all that safety features plus sensors for light and raining and the camera from up there work with the radar down here for adaptive cruise control of course and autopilot if you want to see how it works check out the test drive look at the front end what do you think about it you like it you see that big grill on the down part like a big mouth it looks really interesting with those horizontal chrome lines look really really nice it comes with a bar LED bar across the front of the car that looks really interesting in the nighttime it's a 
pretty unique signature for Volkswagen these days. Then you have the new logo with the front camera right here in the middle. Then you have some air intakes here, or basically not. Wait, no, yes, they are, but only on this side. So air intakes only in this area. And here they are closed, so open up only here. So you see only in this area. And then only here the air will go inside. Otherwise, everywhere it's closed. And if I'm not wrong, here should be the air filter. I will definitely have to check out when I open the hood a little bit later to show you. But here down, I saw it before, you have the grill and the air intakes. And if you see inside there, you have some plastic pedals, plastic clappers that they open and close. So it's active cooling inside there. So when the car need to be cooled up, they will open. And when it need to be warm, they will stay closed. And otherwise, chrome design here, really, really nice. Big mouth, it looks like a big mouth. And then you have the radar down here, otherwise pretty glossy everywhere. And then you have some huge air intakes here on the side. You can see them also on the camera, huge air intakes that allow the air to go around here, around the wheels of the car. So pretty cool. Six sensors on the front from the, for parking and also for the safety features. It stays quite, quite low on the ground. Now going to the IQ light, you can see right in here, those are the Matrix headlamps that are adaptive and they are incredible in the nighttime. They are able to come somehow blind only the car part and not in other parts to be lighted. So it's, it's a smart, smart light. So Volkswagen, when it comes to lightning, they are one of the best. The turning signal, you can see them from here, following turning signal, quite nice. And also, if I'm not wrong, it doesn't come on all version. I think on the basis entry level version didn't come like that. In general, they look super nice. And also they are LED lights. Here we have the rims, 18 inch rims, look also quite nice. They are really different than the previous versions and definitely they improve also the aerodynamic also on the rims a little bit so you can see they are much more closer than before so that's nice ventilated brake this on the front normal brake this on the rear i don't know if you can see the inside there other than that what's important for me is this area here they put a little bit of plastic to protect the paint of the car that's important but I would definitely, if I buy the car, if I would buy the car, I will add some paint protection film in this area to protect that area. Other than that, down here is just the paint of the car. And also here, it's important to protect this part. Here on the passenger side, you have the tank and the add blue. Also good quality on this door. And going in the back, the same IQ light writing very beautiful lights on the rear they look so nice like a three dimensional shape but really interesting also following turning signal and the chrome insertion that goes across the back of the car here's the reverse light led and here's the fog lamp and here again you can see those lights so overall if i go in the back the back of the car look quite spectacular i really like it it looks quite nice and then of course this is the reverse camera down here and LED lights on the number plate. The new logo look quite nice in the middle. Again, LED LED light bar, red bar that goes across the back of the car. Passat writing in the middle here. And if you go down on the bumper, six sensors, some light reflectors, and again, some chrome down here on the bumper. No exhaust pipes visible there. Although you can see if you look deeper down there, but otherwise no exhaust and stuff like that. Everything is clean and nice. What do you think? Do you like it? What I want to show you right now, it is what is under the hood. That's important, right? Open up from, let me show you. Where is that? Here. Open up from here, from this area. You have an automatic lift gate. That's great. Also in the front on the hood. And this is the engine kind of the same array yeah no yeah basically those air intakes those air intakes allow the air to go inside up here yeah interesting the air filter is here there is the battery 12 volt port this is the wiper ah oh, it's nice you see it's easier to put the, the water liquid there then you have the this is the filter the diesel filter 
liquid cooling and this is the engine pretty cool pretty cool now let's go in the trunk open up the trunk you have a button down here automatic lift gate like you saw before and the entrance it's huge it's basically huge huge entrance you have so much space here and what i like the most about the car is the fact that up here you have two led lights that illuminate in the night i'm really good on the on the floor and inside here you have the triangle up here the handle and also the button to close the trunk now this is the entrance it's huge basically really really big entrance you can fit in so many things so many items without any problem so when it comes to practicality i will give it a 10 from 10. i like this little touch of aluminum here at the entrance i love the fact that the car come with a flat completely flat floor easy to put your stuff inside here super nice also on the side they learn from Škoda right because Škoda is the same practical they were always super practical but now Volkswagen have kind of the same size so super practicality this is great you have hooks here and here in every corner hooks you have some storage space here where you can add different items otherwise good quality you have hooks a lot of hooks you have the handle to fold down the seats i will show you later you have a 12 volt port right here you have another hook here if you need two hooks on the side then here again the same story two hooks and folding down the seats and you have this button for the hook when you want to pull a trailer it's kind of semi-automatic so you have to pull it in the end a little bit just like that but although you just press the button and then it goes like that and then you push it in super super useful here check this out man this is super useful you have the possibility to charge your laptop or you have a proper socket here so 150 volt socket 235 incredible very useful another led light here another led light there a lot of light a lot of storage space i'm not advertising the car but still super super useful and then you have also this uh, for the trunk that you can take it out from here and put it move it around uh, it's very useful to not leave the things going around the trunk and if that was not enough check this out look at this space you have a huge space where you can put your spare tire without any problem and also you can take this out completely if you want to it's so heavy it's so big and you can put the stuff there down there very 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 nice love it and i want to show you something really cool this here it's moving automatically ah by the way you have another speaker down here and on the both sides by the way and this one when you close the trunk let me show you i close the trunk and look at it it will come automatically in the back you see that and if you open it it goes back automatically so that's moving automatically that's also cool i will take it out and i will show you in a second how the car look with the seats folding down and without that trunk protection so yeah let me do it all right i just take out the protection and now you can see a little bit better the way it looks without that protection it's phenomenal spacious man now when i see it again i understand how much space you have here you have the possibility to fold down the middle part part of the middle part to carry on long items like skis and in the same time have two passengers in the back this is super super useful and let me put it back and then i will show you something and check this out if you go on the side you just pull this like that you don't have to stretch out they're super useful i saw many other much more premium expensive car didn't have this function so great job volkswagen now i want to push it all the way down because i just want to show you something the cool part is that you have such a long space right here that you can even sleep here and carry such a big items without any problem huge entrance i told you practicality 10 from 10 incredible space here love it definitely love the space great job volkswagen really i, I really enjoy this car now i really enjoy making this review because there are so many good stuff here something that i like very much again here it has that a huge entrance 
big big entrance here from the side as well so you can fit in stuff also from the side you will see it when you see it in reality you will see how much space you have this is the entrance a lot of space there and down here you can see almost a flat floor so that's super super useful and if that was not enough look at the legs room oh man i mean look how much space you have here between those seats and even though you have that transmission tunnel that it's huge transmission tunnel you still have left a lot a lot of legs room and a lot of room to put different items you, you can carry stuff right here if that is not enough you can put even down there a lot of stuff so super practical anyway let me put back the seats and we will go inside here we have two windows and one can be fold down let me show you all the way how cool is that so you have a huge window all the way folding down and that's not enough why is that because it's double glassing so these car have double glassing everywhere on the rear on the front no wonder why the sound insulation when you drive on the highway is so good then you have also this privacy protection these blinds that you can put it here manually then you have super good quality you can see the stitches soft material here you have also this leather that feels great stitches leather soft material here you have a speaker here a speaker here you have this handle this new finger handle i call it finger handle it feels so nice as you touch it and you have also this wonderful ambient light inserted in the door that looks so so cool there in the nighttime another cool thing is that inside those door bands you have this stuff material that doesn't allow the other objects to hear like that anyway led light also here ambient light you have a nice plate at the entrance here big entrance here also huge entrance not big huge entrance in the car also once you go here you will notice that beautiful panoramic glass roof basically i will definitely go for panoramic glass roof i don't know about you but if i have the money to get for passat i will definitely get also the panoramic glass roof it looks phenomenal and in combination with a white roof i love the fact that volkswagen add this white roof because it's much more brighter it makes the car even bigger than it is and it looks so nice it gives it a little bit of touch of uh, premium when you have this white roof and all that white stuff even here on the side really cool the gray color of the seats quite unique you don't see them in this color on many cars so that's also another unique nice touch and also they are as always on the volkswagen you can expect to have super comfortable and super good quality seats so yeah quite nice i really like them side support good quality here the stitches you have isofix for child you can install two child seats in the back and also you can install another child seat in the front so it comes with isofix also on the front seat i will show you that when i go there of course in the middle you have an armrest let me show you that also in gray also good quality pretty nice and then here in the middle quite flat so they kind of design it so a third person should stay there in the middle this is the hook up here and behind the front seat you have some storage space up here and here and also here i like the fact that you don't have any plastic behind so here it's soft and nice and yeah let me go inside before i start the video i adjust these seats in my driving position so now i'm 173 centimeters check this out guys but before hear this out nice now check this out the space i'm 173 centimeters look at the space on my legs i mean oh my god almost half of my hand it's crazy i can stretch my legs completely look at this it's it's completely stretched look at my space i have it's it's crazy spacious head space is not crazy spacious it's just five fingers but the legs room it's it's insanely spacious this area here it's crazy it makes it so so much spacious now when it comes to visibility it's perfect man it's it's really perfect you have this extended window you have another window in the back quite big super super spacious and super good visibility so i really like it also the the headrests are quite soft and nice i like them this one too it's nice it's pretty nice it's pretty comfy here i like it i really like it something that i wish to have on this car is the possibility to fold down those seats even more on the back 
man that that would be complete and i cannot do that right no you have this you have just one position man this is sad volkswagen next time make it to fold a little bit on the back that would be insanely nice to see this panoramic glass roof look at the glass roof oh it's so nice that would be cool anyway in the middle you have two usb-c super useful you have the vents that feels super good quality you have also the possibility to set up the temperature from here if you're cold and down here it's nothing it's just this huge transmission tunnel but other than that super cool stuff let's go in the middle very interesting a little bit higher a little bit stiffer down here still huge space on my legs really huge space i can stretch my legs on the side here i have less space like three and a half four let's say three and a half fingers stretch my hand almost completely and stretch my hand completely what 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 almost completely yeah almost completely but free person can stay here it's a little bit stiffer on the back so probably short medium trips no problem but long trips will be not so comfy in the middle but otherwise on the side it's quite nice now here you have this beautiful led light and then you have also the handle the hook and also this beautiful beautiful roof i like the quality of the roof from one to ten i will give it an eight around there really nice quality now looking in the front check out the dashboard look at that huge multimedia screen 15 inch screen it's optional of course with a head-up display that i will show you but it is really big it's like a laptop like a like almost like a tv there it's so good and the fact that they tilted to the driver that was the the best move that they can do with this one because it's so easy to adjust and to see different informations and i really like the dashboard i like the way they array it i like the design and everything even the center console it's much more clean and nice you have plenty of space there so yeah let's go in the front let's talk about those things one big window from one piece that allow you to have a very good visibility in the mirror i will show you in a second the design it's almost similar with the rear door the same good soft quality on the upper side with stitches the same beautiful ambient light inserted here where you can change different colors i will show you when we go inside lock and unlock button the same finger the same leather here in this area super super nice uh, also here leather soft material here again the buttons for the windows lock child will lock and then you have electric adjustable mirrors button button to open the trunk a speaker here speaker here and led light here and also some storage space the same nice stove material inside here inside the door bands and down and here on the side something that they take from skoda it's the umbrella elegance writing at the entrance you have the pedals normal pedals no aluminum pedals and going inside look at this nice big entrance and look at those beautiful seats man they look quite nice they look nice right and they are bright they are big they have free position to save it this is ergo active seats i know volkswagen work a lot on those seats so you don't have to worry about back pain or stuff like that at long distances i think volkswagen from how many cars i drive over the years volkswagen when it comes to long distances they make one of the best seats where you don't have a back pain so often down here you have electric adjustable seats lumbar position everything and also the massage you can activate it from here from this button super nice seats i have nothing to, to say about them side support nice design good quality and also you can adjust this front part just like that here you have the buttons for the lights from here you change different lights position also the fog lamps and so on uh, very simple by pressing this button so yeah this is the new nice trend with the buttons you have some ambient light here you can see it's blue not right now but in the nighttime look great you can change the colors again soft material here then you have the vents with a little bit of chrome and black glossy it feels also good soft material on the dashboard everywhere super nice yeah overall quite nice let me go inside close the door visibility wise this is very important i know for 
most of us when you stay in a driving position to have a good visibility and here you have it because they extend this window so much in the back you have such a good visibility outside even though there are smaller mirrors you still have a good visibility in the mirrors because they make it a little bit smaller to improve the aerodynamic now visibility outside is great i like that the a pillar it's quite small it's small and you have good visibility around it you have also a speaker here but visibility wise on the windshield and even in the mirror up here it's quite good you can see for yourself you have that straight window in the back so the visibility is good around the window so nothing to complain in terms of visibility guys i think around the windows it's super super good also in the back there you can see one more time here you have the armrest with some leather you can open it up like that you have also this extra storage here you have the space down there you have another 12 volt port down there i don't know if you can see it but you can open it you have led light there so you can put it like that and then a little bit forward you have also this nice uh i i should say here is the same leather quality then you have uh, you have electronic handbrake start stop engine button two cup holders you can also close those like that quite good quality here you have rubber i like that it's rubber two usb c ports and under this is ventilated so that your wireless charging not to get hot you see this is the vents so when you put your phone there to charge uh, it won't get warm so that's that's super nice so wireless charging with ventilation a little bit higher you have some glossy this is the hazard light those are the vents Ooh, they feel good and then here we have the glow box glow box relatively big and you have an led light inside there plus you have soft material here ambient light down here plus you have this beautiful i really like this area here with passat writing right there it looks so nice and also the ambient light there it looked really good up there you have a speaker and the head-up display the head-up display is just phenomenal you you have it directly on the windshield it's very nice integrated into the glass and it's blending together so nice and while you're driving it shows you so many useful information even from uh, autopilot and adaptive cruise control and all that stuff super super nice steering wheel adjustable up down forward backward super simple very similar with the one that we see on id cars quite nice quality nice grip i like it what i like the most and i appreciate is that volkswagen bring back those physical button great job volkswagen when they bring it first time and when first time volkswagen bring it i i brought the volkswagen golf gte uh, and it has physical button and then it begins with the touch buttons and i was so happy it was one of the most easy way to adjust and set up the cruise control autopilot so leave it like that volkswagen don't take it away physical button is the way to go trust me at least for the most important things now here you have also physical button to control the digital cockpit the digital cockpit is incredible i will show you in a second super customizable and nice uh, the voice command you have some pedals behind the steering wheel here from where you can change the gears manually if you want to do that but now in the back of the steering wheel right here we have this stalk to change the gears this is the new stalk so you put it in park you put it in reverse and drive so simple as that and they clean up this space here much much better now you probably wonder where is the auto hold button because volkswagen on almost all the cars have auto hold function yeah the auto hold function is right here on the screen you have to go to the car and you have to activate it and deactivate it from here so auto hold is here so yeah we will go in a second also to the multimedia but let me finish with the cockpit first of all digital cockpit from my point of view very nice array very good visibility through the steering wheel overall very good visibility on all the screens and also very easy to change different items i like the fact that they tilt the screen to the driver very easy to adjust but also very good visibility in the digital cockpit and digital cockpit have a good good resolution nice colors super clear information are crazy crazy clear and you can basically customize how you like to see this so for example if you want to see the map you can have the map if you want to take all those widgets on the side you can choose to have no display and you can make it look at this you can make it clean and you have all the map on the screen 
but if you want to bring it back you just choose to have average consumption and then in the right side you choose to have i don't know just maybe audio telephone compass or destination information or yeah whatever things you want to have there on the display you can choose to have it on the display but of course you can choose also to have those classic let's say analogical rpms and the speed limit that's also fine and you can also basically customize their what you like to see in the middle of them so that's quite nice basically it's it's super cool from my point of view i think it's super customizable and that's not enough you can see also in the middle the driving cruise control autopilot when it's activated you can see a super nice graphic that shows you in real time different information about your car speed and stuff like that and it looks so so nice i really enjoy when i drive in it and then you can see also information about other stuff but great stuff really really nice i really like the, the uh, digital cockpit a little bit higher here we have the led light plus the vanity mirror quite nice you have a handle here you have microphones up there you have sos button plus some led lights and then you have the mirror you saw it before quite nice mirror nice touch edges and then in the middle here you have the sliders for the panoramic glass roof so all you have to do is just slide it like that like that and you can see right now it's open up the cool part is that it's so big this panoramic glass roof that it's open until the middle so it's such a huge 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 one of the biggest probably panoramic glass roof that you can open and it's, it's crazy nice really i like it and then you slide it like that and it closes. and you can close also that curtain so you just slide it and it closes electrically just like that so simple so fast and it's nice because it leaves a little bit of of light to come inside the car and that keep the interior much more brighter and nicer even though you close this curtain when it's super sunny it's much nicer to open it up so yeah in general that's nice it's nice it's a nice ambient inside the car i really like how it's cozy it, you feel cozy inside the car that's important now let's go to this huge 15 inch screen great resolution great colors great brightness you can see it super super clear a lot of information right here on the screen this is the map right now and i noticed that it's super responsive much much better than what was before on volkswagen cars i mean in terms of map uh, it's really really responsive and not only the map but in general the multimedia system it's much more responsive search for the gas stations for example and that's cool also on the hybrid versions you can charge for the charging stations uh, plug in and so on so this navigation it's used also for the electric version id7 you can search and find all the charging stations for example and once you set the destination for example let me go to one of them you just press the button start stopover you can add stopovers and you can see it gives you a lot of information it's loading super fast and it shows you also the map here and also there on the head-up display it shows you the directions and you can see even here more information about charging and stuff like that yeah anyway super super cool stuff i really like the map i like how fast it is i like how easy it is, it is to use it and to adjust different information there so nice stuff another thing that i like is that down here ah by the way they still leave this volume control here with touch and also this is the temperature from where you can change the temperature inside the cabin super easy it works quite fast you can get used with it so yeah it's pretty good but if you don't want to use it on the down part you have all the climatic controllers and for example you choose the ventilation on the seats because the seats come with ventilation and also come with heated seats how cool is that for you and the passenger and by the way the passenger has also electric adjustable seats with saving position plus massage on the seats so that's cool and also ventilated and heated seats great heated steering wheel by the way this is the button to turn on the heated steering wheel and that's cool and you have also free position you can see there on the screen that's also super super nice and useful now if you want to go deeper yeah than this because even though you have some 
buttons here to uh, turn on the climatic system and defrosting. You go to Klima here, you press the Klima and you access all the climatic system. And from here you can choose the vents power, you can put it on auto, you can put it on smart. So on smart you can choose different, different um, settings like cool my feet, warm my feet, fresh air, wherever you want. You can go to smart and choose that. You can put it on manual, automatic low, manual and so on or you can go here to put it on manual. You can synchronize, you can choose the position from here. So it's not like in ID7 where you can choose the vents position from here. The vents are basically manual on this Passat. So yeah, wherever. It's really cool, it's really smart, it's really easy to use. Also you have air care on, for example, so it'll purify the air inside. You have the heating right here. You have the rear, for example, in the rear, you can also adjust it from here. And also you can go here to more settings and you find all the settings of the uh, climatic system. And if you want to turn it off, you just press this button and now it's off the climatic system. Then you go back to home. This is the home button. You just press this one, you go to home. This is the home screen where you have two screens right here, for example. And yeah, you can basically customize what you would like to see on those screens. And you can see here different information without going into the menu, necessarily going into the menu. So that's super useful. It comes also with um, either basically a voice command and if I'm not wrong it will come also with chat GPT AI uh, chatbot so we can conversate with it in the future that would be so nice up here I like the fact that you have also some shortcut buttons that get you in different and different uh, settings and menus you can slide from up down to adjust the brightness of the screen you can choose to have it dark or bright you have audio sound and you have also some shortcuts here super super smart mm -hmm. stuff I like that as well then you have also here the information of the car you have the assistance systems if you go to assistance systems the car will go directly to all the safety features of the car so you can choose how you like to see it in a list lane assist speed warning attention monitoring drowsiness monitor uh, front assist you have adaptive cruise control speed limiter echo assist side assist trailer detection so from here you can activate and deactivate different settings very simple so you have a shortcut up here the great part is that you can add another shortcut if you want to have another shortcut up there for example if you want to have the background you can add the background up there and press finish and you choose what you like what kind of uh, shortcuts to have up there if you want to have the one from parking you go to parking and you can see the cameras because the car come with 360 degrees camera as you saw before you can see what happened around the car you can see the side cameras you can see the reverse camera it's that cool and simple and park assist here the car can park itself and it can also save the position of the parking as soon as I get the car in a parking lot I will do a video about that so I will show you how the car can be summon from the from the phone if you connect your car to the phone you can summon the car backward forward back in the parking lot or you can save the position the same as BMW have as well you have the trailer assist right here and again the camera resolution are not the best resolution but they are clear enough and more than enough to park without any problem in any space so cool here you have start stop engine button and here you have also the uh, shortcut functions for different um, settings like traction control, auto hold, you have start stop system, interior monitoring, you have head up position, head up display position and assistance systems. So from here you can also set up the head up display position and so on. Now this button here basically in the corner allow you to access all the menus and here you have all the menu with all the settings so here you find all the settings of the car from telephone radio navigation settings basically you go to navigation uh, vehicle settings and when you go to vehicle you have all the information about the car like for example the consumption you can see right here since refueling long-term consumption you can see right here what was the consumption on the last kilometers if the car have any errors or stuff like that or you can even go to vehicle and here it shows you the interior settings like head-up display cockpit and you can kind of um, change different information interior lightning here so you can choose that dark bright how you like to have 
um, then you have the um, let me show you the seats down here so you have the settings of the seats and the exterior settings comfort light on the exterior animation on exterior light duration entry light duration tail lights on the tail lights you have free animation to choose from that's super cool so when you turn off and on the car i will try to show you that i basically forget to show you that mirrors here and then you have tires information and you have the headlights a lot of information dynamic light assist you have dynamic cornering light you have so many features i mean in terms of lights they are good automatic highlights control in rain convenient turn signal and travel mode super cool super cool stuff now going back here you have the app connectivity you can connect your phone apple carplay android auto super simple without any cable i will show you that in a different video i will do a separate video about that then if you go to parking you saw it before assistant system you saw it settings you probably know it from the previous versions where is the language units uh, wi-fi and all that time and date settings network settings wi-fi information settings about the car configuration here um, yeah from here you can also configure different infos and you have the backgrounds and lights those are incredible i show you from here you can change this ambient beautiful light you can go to infinity and not only the ambient light is changing but it's changing also the screen colors and the cockpit color and that's so nice and it has such a nice beautiful colors all of those colors are quite beautiful and i love it i don't know they choose it really wisely i really like this one i like this one i like this one i like this one i like this red it's really cool i mean i like all all of them uh it looks really really nice i don't know i i, I like what they did here really nice stuff and you can go to individual and you can customize the colors how you want to have it and that's also cool stuff you can choose the brightness from here from every single area and yeah this is also a super nice add-on in the nighttime those are the seats and the massage on the seats first of all you have the air cone seats so you can choose from here to turn on the heating um, the ventilation and here dry boost it's a smart system where you can activate it and you can see in the same time the seats ventilation will work but also the heating will work in the same time both of them they will dry your uh if you if outside it's raining and you go inside the car and you're wet you go here and you turn on this function and then uh, the car will try to dry your clothes and that's that's really interesting and also for the passengers the same story really cool stuff you go to massage on the seats you have here a lot of massage functions to choose from and what i notice when i try it is that basically it works quite fine i mean it works really good it's not just like i saw it in other cars it's really basically feel quite nice i wish i have it on my car and also you have it for passenger for you you can turn it off you can choose how many minutes to work you can choose to press to stop and intensity it's really nice stuff and you can change also the position of the seats quite simple and then if you go even more settings you have a few settings here now sound settings you can change it from here uh, and you can change the focus you can change the volumes for different settings and then you have the user you can have a username and you can save all the settings you can go to ida that help you with different yeah voice command assist and stuff like that i'm not a big fan of this stuff so yeah i will skip it but yeah in the future you will have chat gpt that would be interesting to talk with it and to give you information real time that would be super incredible now tips and help air conditioning you saw it shop and legal info not that important but overall i think i cover everything guys i hope i cover everything i hope i give you all the information or almost all the information about this new uh, passat if you still have questions ask me down below i will answer with pleasure also if you still want to see the car on the road if you want to see how good it's when you drive it i have some separate videos with the car you can see the consumption there in test drive videos probably the videos are already on the channel if they are not already there uh, stay close because they will come click the subscribe button to see notification when those videos will come and i have in plan to review and test drive also the hybrid versions so stay close because it will be really interesting 
overall super nice car man i mean you will won't regret if you would buy it this is all i can say about this volkswagen passat so thank you for watching i hope the video was useful if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check out garage gauchi in langenthal in switzerland if you are in switzerland or in switzerland check them out i will leave the link in the description also on the screen they are super nice and they will help you with all and you can also see the car there so thank you for watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe stay safe and i see you soon in the next one Bye, guys.